The core of our device is two concentric electrodes separated by an insulator. The outer one is called the cathode, it's the negative. The inner one is the anode, positive. There's an insulator in between. Energy from capacitors is dumped on these uh, electrodes, which are inside a vacuum chamber that contains the fusion fuel. Current starts to flow from the cathode to the anode. What happens is a series of instabilities driven by the pinch effect, each one of which makes the plasma denser and hotter. So the first one, which is illustrated in this animation, is the filamentation instability. So you start out with a smooth plasma, and the plasma comes together with what are called filaments, which are dense vortices of current pulled together. So that makes the plasma, that's the first step in making it hotter and denser. Now the friction of the electrons moving through the filaments start to heat the plasma up, just like the electrons in a light bulb filament heat it up. The electromagnetic forces on these currents force them to move to the end of the anode. The anode is designed to be hollow. It has a hole in the middle. So the current actually fountains together inside the hole in the anode. And people, including us, have taken pictures to show exactly how this happens. Well, as that happens, a second instability develops because these filaments are all close to each other and moving in the same direction, so they attract each other. And that produces what people call the pinch, even though this is sort of the second pinch effect. So they're all drawn together and they merge into a single filament. The next thing that happens is that filament starts to twist up. It becomes coiled. And these coils start to attract each other because they're moving in the same direction. So it becomes more and more coiled, which is called a kinking instability. Eventually, just like a landline, if any of you still have landlines, that becomes twisted, becomes twisted up in a little knot. And that knot, which is illustrated in this animation, we call the plasmoid. Inside that plasmoid, the temperatures can reach extremely hot because the uh, plasma has been compressed so much that its frictional forces heat it up. In addition, another instability produces the acceleration of an ion beam out one direction, an electron beam out the other. What that means is that a lot of the energy in the fusion reaction actually ends up in a directed ion beam. If you have a directed ion beam and you take essentially a sophisticated form of coil, you can induce a current in a circuit as the beam is passing. And with adequate switching, you can make sure that that energy stays in the current and doesn't return to the ion.